I ain't get that far. I got pulled over by the police because they were pissing me off. I found something on the ground like metal. I just bought it up in my hand and I punched. You know the vibes. It's Jay. Hand me the lighter. I'm about to get litter than a bitch. Big, big period. Are you serious? These hoes are acting all delirious. And I What's going on, J Squad? Plum Squad, it's your girl J. You already know. Welcome back to J Vibes, where there's a whole lot of great vibes going on. Big period. Today's video is gonna be different. What the what kind of bug is that? I ain't gonna get too close neither, so y'all, you gonna have to. I don't know what you're gonna do, but it's got the yellow butt. <gasps> no, 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 no. I'm just gonna. Anywho, let me just get back on track. Since this video is different, I'm just gonna tell you what inspired this video. So I had to make a trip to Greensboro to come get a package because that's where the P.O. box is that I use. Me and my sister use the same P.O. box just because she got a P.O. box and hell, she got it. So I'm using it. I'm using it with her. You in my business. Don't do that. Actually, I've been wanting to do this video. I want to come show you guys the community college that I used to go to and also show you the apartment that I used to stay in. And you know, maybe like unravel some um, story times that I can give to y'all or like y'all can actually put some visuals with the story times that I've already given you. So I was like, yeah, I'll make time for that today. So I was like, that'll be dope. I'm actually right now at the school. I don't know how much wandering around that I can do, but I'm gonna try to do as much wandering around as I can. This is Guilford Technical Community College. So I went to a community college and I want to also just like as I'm walking just tell you what even inspired me to come to a community college. Why did I not just go straight into a university? First of all, I put myself in college. I didn't know what I was doing, what I should have did, what I shouldn't do. I didn't even know, like I didn't really know what I wanted to come to school for. I just knew that going to school was what your parents would want. It's what the elderly people would want. It's what people usually do after they graduate high school, they go to college. So one day, and it was around the time where you gotta take like the SAT test. These girls that I knew of, we never like hung out. We probably went to the same house party a few times. We knew the same people in high school, but I never hung out with them. We were never like, it wasn't none of that. But one day they came to me, it was two of them. I think no, it was three of them because one, the be one of them was the best friend of one and it was really the two girls that I was gonna be roommates with in Greensboro. So one day they came to me and they were like, Yo, do you know what school you going to? And I'm like, no. At that time, I was in my first lesbian relationship. She played basketball, so I didn't know where she was going to school. We never really talked about that, like, you know, or never really tried to plan to go to the same school. I don't freaking know. So, you know, basically they came up to me, they was like, yeah, you should room with us. And it was like, I don't know if you know, but I think, I think they're the one that told me that she was thinking about going to the school to play basketball. Y'all, this was like in 2012, so I really don't know. That's really not the more of this, the point of me even telling this story. But they, I'm then, you know, how I ended up in Greensboro. They came to me one day around that time, and they were like, "Yo, you should come to this school with us. Um, it's a community college, so you can, you know, get your credits. Especially since you don't really know what you want to major in right now, you come get your credits, and you always transfer to a um, university. They was like, and we all gonna live together. We gonna basically go to school, you know, get a job, get our money up, get our education." And that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Fuck, I'm stupid. I literally thought that we were gonna come up here and, be, and get on some ball shit, like get our shit together. Boy, as I walk down this path that I actually used to walk down, I don't know who class I was going to and what class it was, but you guys, that's not what happened. That's what it started off to be. 
but that ain't how it ended off to be, you know what I'm saying? And when I get over to the apartments, because we're actually going to go over there, I will talk about that. But this is the school that I went to. Let's just talk about the good times first before we get into the mess. Yeah, you are you. I got I to gotta take you through the story easily. But so I've been to two community colleges. But yeah, you guys, I just wanted to start off here. I'm not going to tell you a whole bunch of story times. I'm just going to like tell you what comes to my mind when I'm in certain areas. Ooh, does this vending machine work? Ooh, it is on. I wonder how long this stuff been in here. Y'all in there quarantining? I just stopped by. <laughs> Toast to you is crazy. How you doing, ladies? I haven't went over there and talked to them. They still live around here? Oh, that's crazy. What's going on, smart fool? How you doing? We didn't talk like that back then, but how you doing? You still look good. Okay, well, you guys, I'm going um, to head on out of here. Skittles is probably mad at me. You know, we had our thing back back then. But tell, tell Skittles I said, hey. Okay, I'll talk to y'all later. Hey, how you doing, Sprite? <laughs> I'm healthy now, no. No, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm, health, I'm healthy now. I'm not going to remember every place I used to be at, especially because this building, like, it don't even look the same. Like, look, I don't know what they got going on. Do you see that? Like, what they what they doing? I actually want to do something like this in South Carolina since I used to live in South Carolina and I was raised in South Carolina for like the beginning ages of my life. And then this might be a little random, but I cannot stand the question. Where you from? Where you from? Where you from? I really cannot stand that question because when you don't know where you're from, when you only know where you where you were born and, and where you lived and you just don't feel at home in no place, you know? I just don't, like no place feels like home to me. My dad was in the Navy when I was really, really young. Even before I was born, he was in the Navy. So I was born in Atlanta, okay? Stayed there for a few years, you guys. I don't even... I don't even remember, that's how young I was. We moved to South Carolina, and that's when, you know, my mom, now this is what I do remember, my mom and my daddy got a divorce, and you know, my daddy had always been on the road, you know, with working, he worked long, long hours, multiple jobs, so he was always just on a move, on the go, so I remember every time we used to meet up, you know, to see my dad, we would be in a hotel. Life kinda happened how it happened when I stayed with my mom, and it made me want to stay with my dad. So I'll say when I got to be in the sixth grade, I've been in North Carolina since I've been in the sixth grade. The high school that I graduated from, I went there all four years. When I graduated high school, I came here. That's how I ended up in Greensboro. I do have an aunt that stayed in Greensboro, and I think that's also what made me feel comfortable to come to Greensboro for college because I had an aunt that stayed here. There's so much to tell, but type any questions if you have any questions in the comments, and you know, I'll keep an eye on my comments. And if I need to do like a part two to this and like do some explaining, maybe this can, like I say, bring us some story times, like, or give me ideas for some story times, like as I just actually put yourself. Cause it's just different when you're just trying to think of memories and stuff. It's different to try to think about it and tell stories about it versus you actually being there and like it taking you back. And let me just say, say this. I knew I was in the right spot because this parking lot, cause although the buildings don't look the same, I remember this parking lot. Let me tell y'all what happened in this parking lot. Me, and my girlfriend at the time, cause at that time she had a car. Y'all, it's some, it's a lot of shit that, that went on and I don't wanna lose. But let me tell you what happened in this parking lot. Me and my girlfriend at the time, we were, I believe we were leaving. We were leaving when we were about to go home. I, I kid you not, we were leaving. Point blank period, my roommate was rushing in. I think she assumed that we were giving her our parking spot. Somebody else got the parking spot. She didn't get the parking spot. The bitch got mad because she didn't get the parking spot. And I don't know how and why she didn't get the parking spot, who took the parking spot. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. All I know is that this parking lot brought back the memory that damn, I remember when that bitch got mad because she didn't get the parking spot. Whatever parking spot that she was trying to park in that she didn't get because I don't know, but she took that day so personal because I went through so much hell after that day in, in the apartment and we gonna head over there and like I said I probably won't be able to give you all the story times so this video will be super 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 long but I'm just gonna like place myself in certain spots 
and I'm just gonna like, yo, this happened, this happened, this happened. If you want that story time, then comment down below, you guys. Make sure you get this video at least to Jesus. Can I get 300 likes? Can we get 300 likes on this video? 300 likes, let's get to 1,000 views. You, you guys can do that. You guys can do that. 1,000 views, 300 likes. That's not even proportioned to itself, but you know, I believe we can at least do that, all right? Make sure you are subscribed to this channel, you guys. Like and share the video. And yeah, let's go ahead to these apartments because this is gonna be like really, you know what I'm talking about? And then, uh, let's just head to the apartments. Let's just see what kind of memories pop up from being there. And if I do not give the story time, but I tell you that it can be a story time, like I said, just put what story time that you want in the comment section and I will get to it. After that, you guys, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I hadn't had anything to eat but some bread and water. And I heard of this place called 42 Fry. If you live in Greensboro, ever been to Greensboro, ever ate at this place, um, that's where I'm headed to, 42 Fry. Heard it's a black owned business and I'm looking forward to like some fried shrimp, fried catfish, tartar sauce, fried uh, okra. Just black owned business. Not so healthy, but black owned business supporting the black people because black lives always matter and will always matter and I just, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Let's go. <laughs> okay. This place is called the Madison at Adams Farm. This was my building. I don't know what number this is. But I stayed on the third floor, letter Z. So way at the top and on the other side. So many memories comes to my mind. Yeah, some good memories, some bad memories. I'm just so thankful to have had my friend Ronnie, who I also call Jade, but I'm so thankful to have had her. I actually met her at work. I used to work at Steak and Shake, so it's like maybe seven minutes away from here. And like after we got to talking, found out that we actually went to the same school. Had no idea because of course, like it's not like high school. I was literally on campus and then I was gone. But that balcony at the top, that was our balcony. If I'm not mistaken, they must have painted this because it wasn't this color. It wasn't this color. So many memories you guys come to this, like, oh my God, Ugh. <laughs> just good and bad. Um, again, so it was me and it was two other girls. So it was three girls living in here. It was a three bedroom apartment. Um, had a fireplace, it's so nice on the inside. Um, this is actually, I remember like, I had a puppy before I had Pixie. Her name was BB. She would come and use the bathroom. Unfortunately, she passed away because I just received her too early. So she had like worms in her poop and you know, she got sick and she just didn't make it through her getting sick. Or maybe when I gave her back, she didn't take care of her. Not sure, but. um, I don't wanna be, somebody lives there so I don't wanna be like having the camera pointed to them and doing stuff like that. But yes, you guys, I also remember like, I remember this one day, me and the girlfriend that I had had, cause remember I told you, I was in a relationship. It was my first lesbian relationship. I was with her for five years. Y'all remember one day we was arguing and she stayed like, I'm not walking way up there, but I'll show you. Like the basketball team, I don't know if it was the girls and boys, I don't know, but I know the girls basketball team stayed here. She stayed like around that corner. So she stayed, down there, around the corner, down there. One day we was arguing and <laughs> her ass pulled up. She literally parked over here and it's crazy because this black car kind of reminds me of her car, but it was like an ugly green and it wasn't it wasn't that nice. You know, you, in, you gotta do what you gotta do when you're in college. But she pulled up, honey. We came outside, did we fight? I don't think we fought, but I know we were arguing and she had her basketball team with her and my roommates came down with me and child, it was a mess. Not only that, y'all, I think, remember I told you about the parking lot thing? So let me just say like, one day my roommates wasn't here and she had came and spent the night with me and my roommate had found out cause I think I had posted, I think at this time we were using Facebook. My roommate had came home, called the police first though, had the police come here to try to remove her from the apartment that's the story time that i can tell 
Um, another story time that I can tell. One day, me and the girl, we had went up to Winston because my sister had stayed in Winston. My sister actually graduated from a university. Um, so I did not graduate from college. After the first semester, I had to get the fuck up out of here. And as you can tell by the stories that I'm telling, yeah, I had to get the fuck up out of here. So one day, me and the girl that I was going with at the time we was in winston you know we were enjoying ourselves my sister was at work her boyfriend was at the crib make a long story short the girl that i was with i caught her messaging her ex and i was like you really about to disrespect my sister house i was like you really about to be here messaging your ex i said you supposed to be here with me and you messaging your ex y'all made a big old deal a big ass deal to the point where like i was just mad as fuck and so when my sister came home, my sister was trying to figure out what was going on. And it just pissed me off even more. And at this point, I was telling her to get out. I was like, get out. I was like, leave my sister's house. Why would you be here and you disrespecting me in my sister's house? Yeah. <laughs> the girl was like, no, I'm not going nowhere. I was like, yes, you are. And I was like holding the door open, like, get out. My sister like, did it, sit down. She don't have to leave. I said, yes, she do. She's like, no, she don't. This is my house and she don't have to leave. And girl, I just felt like my sister was turning on me. I stole her car, okay? I slept in her car in the parking lot of some apartment complex. When the sun came up, I was actually about to go put some gas in it and drive to Greensboro. Pull it in right there and let that motherfucker neutral control itself in that motherfucking lake. Then I was gonna walk my ass up in the house. I put that on everything I love that was my plan. I ain't get that far. I got pulled over by the police because something was wrong with the tag, I think. And then they realized I wasn't the owner. And I was like, you know, the owner actually is like down the street. Like that's where I was going, making it seem like that's where I was going. When I got there, she was trying to leave me. I was like, yeah, you're not about to leave me. She was like, you're not coming with me, bro. You just try to steal my car. You just stole my car. And then my sister was like, why did you steal her car, blah, blah, blah. They were pissing me off. I found something on the ground, like metal. I just bought it up in my hand and I punched her window out. I had to go to the hospital. I think my sister went to work and then she really left me in Winston. I had to go to the hospital in the ambulance trucks. I had glass in my hand. And y'all, when I got released from the hospital, I couldn't get in touch with nobody to come get me. So I walked from the hospital, which was Foresight. So it was still in Winston. How did I get to Greensboro? I don't remember. We broke up, we definitely had broke up. But it's crazy because we ended up getting back together after that, so. Toxic, toxic, toxic. I'm telling you, I'm not with that toxic shit no more. I'm just, you can't even get me to go back and forth with you long enough. If you get me to care, you on the right track. But you can't get me to go back and forth with you for too long because I'm just, I just cannot go back. I cannot go back to being toxic and I'm damn sure not going back to jail even though none of this shit ever was the reason why I was in jail. But I'm just so thankful because there's so many times I could have been in jail. And I'm just so thankful for that, y'all, because I just can't, like, now that I even tell the story and I reminisce on that, that is freaking crazy. That's crazy. Everybody got a crazy moment, though. I ain't, I ain't going through that again. I ain't doing it, okay? But you guys, it's just so many stories that I can tell, but I'm actually about to go eat. I believe this video is long enough. I'm fucking hungry as shit. We're about to go to 42 Fry. Promise. Nah, I ain't conceited. I'm a different breed. It catch you slipping, best belief. I don't need no reason. I'ma cut the ties, ho. Turn your wife to my hoe. Just focus on you, baby girl. <laughs> J vibes, you know the vibes. You know the fuck going on. And I'm out this bitch. Just take a bow like my name Rihanna. Now she buying seven rings like I'm Ariana.